Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another review. I have uh, have some time to do a review tonight and I got a request to retest uh, Bullguard and I saw that they have a beta so I went and grabbed the beta 9.1 um, and downloaded it, installed it. You can see it's running right now. Check for updates so you can see that it's fully updated. Nothing's been changed on it. Uh, let's see here. There, the contact support. So you got your antivirus settings, you know, your usual uh, infections advanced, firewalls, spam filter, backup support, and gaming settings. And I got 10 uh, fairly new within the last, I don't know, 12, 24 hour links here. So we can check out to see how it does. Uh, the one thing that does concern me is it does not have much of a, it doesn't look like it has any type of zero day component. Um, it looks like it's mostly relying on signatures. I didn't see any heuristic settings or anything like that. So if it's relying just on signatures, there might be a problem. Now it really is slowing down the computer. So I'm going to try to speed, go fairly quick through this. Okay, that one's not working anymore. So it looks like I got something there. Looks like I got something there. Now if I remember right, now don't quote me on this, but I think Bullguard uses uh, the Bitdefender engine. All right, so it wants access to the internet. I'll, uh, w like I said before, when something asks for access to the internet, I always like to allow it because um, it might download some more malware with it. So you never know. Normally you wouldn't do that, of course, when you're using the computer. You'd have to analyze the alerts. I did see it was kind of nice that it gave you a countdown um, where it would automatically don't, it wouldn't allow it for you if you didn't do anything, which was kind of nice. more here. Still waiting on those two, so I'm going to continue. Get the third one going. Oh, there we go. Alright, found one of them. Two more here. Okay, so I'm going to pause this while these two do whatever they're doing. And I'll be right back. 
Okay, so um, those just kind of disappeared for some oddball reason. But I did uh, want to open up uh, Task Manager here. And I did want to show you that there is an infection running live in the system right now. You can see it right there. View 1. Um, and it uses a lots of uh, CPU. And uh, there's another one right there. No, that's uh, never mind. That's for uh, something else, I think. Nope, that is a piece of malware. So I will do that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, it's uh, it's gonna automatically send the unknown files to Bullguard, and I am going to do a full system scan. Now this might take a while, mainly because I have so many processes using up um, the CPU here. So I'm going to wait for it to finish, and uh, that's a junk page that's opening up. So I'll see you when it's done. Alright, so it finally finished scanning here, and it found uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different uh, viruses here. Most of them. Temporary internet, temporary internet. So that's just about the only one um, that's actually right now inside the system. The rest of them are temporary internet files, but we'll fix them all. And then I'm going to reboot and run CCleaner, and then after that, I will run. Uh, Malwarebytes. So I'm going to be back after Malwarebytes finishes running. Okay, so Malwarebytes finished scanning here. I did run CCleaner. And let's see here. Oh, we still have a uh, couple of memory processes, so that means we're still infected. Trojan. Downloader. And the registry key. Okay, so, see, I knew that one was a Trojan. Uh, it was masquerading as uh, the just-checked program from Java, but I don't have Java installed on this, so that's kind of interesting. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these. I'm going to reboot, and uh, for the next, you know, couple of good reviews, I'm going to really give Norton Power Eraser a try, so we're going to run Norton Power Eraser after, and I will be right back with the results from Norton Power Racer. Okay, so Norton Power Racer finished scanning and it didn't find anything. So now I'm going to move on to scanning with Hitman Pro. And I'll be back when that's done. Alright, so um, Hitman Pro didn't find anything. So it looks like uh, Malwarebytes got rid of everything that was left over. So in the end, um, Bullguard uh, 9.1 the weird thing is it showed 9.0 here hm. but this is the beta that I downloaded so there's nothing nowhere I c can't find anywhere I can check to make sure that's what it is um, I disabled the uh, the settings the real-time settings while I was scanning but it looks like a uh, bullguard didn't do too bad but I mean it still let files through and uh, in my opinion all it takes is one file to uh, infect your system so um, it definitely needs something added to give it a uh, zero day uh, protection hips something so that's it on this review and hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to everybody later take care